An astronomical miracle. Ten stars in a row. Allowed a small town with hundreds of thousands of people on earth, carrying the entire city's buildings and population, to cross into a world without intelligent life, but filled with terrifying monsters everywhere. Faced with such a dangerous situation, what would be the reaction of a group of civilians who have no other weapons besides kitchen knives and iron bars? Give up on oneself and let fate take its course. Or rise up and resist, in this world, to fight for a sky where humanity can survive. Chapter 1 10 Star Ball You are listening at NovelFull.audio the latest news from the observatory is that the rare nine-star string that has been seen for thousands of years is very likely to unfold into a ten-star string that has never appeared in human history today at midnight due to an unexpected meteor. This unexpected meteor was just discovered by the observatory. It is flying straight towards the solar system at low light intensity from a distance and is expected to enter the solar system at midnight. Tian Hai turned around and glanced at the TV casually, shaking his head and continuing to wipe the knife in his hand. He had no interest in astronomy at all. Don't say anything about ten stars in a row, even fifteen stars in a row have nothing to do with him. It's not enough to plan the job that I just took over. At the age of twenty-three, Tian Hai, born with the power of nine bears, unexpectedly joined the little dot known Dark Dragon organization in China and became a killer. During the day, he works at a computer store, providing after dot sales service to people, at night, he transformed into the seventh bear of the Dark Dragon organization. One Fury Bear Becoming a Notorious Killer When Tian Hai returned from work at night, he received an online email and entered a newly published post bar according to the address above. I found a post inside that looked like he was groaning without illness, and compared it with the password book in my hand. After that, I received a new task just assigned to him by the organization. This new task is very difficult. Due to my special identity, there are several bodyguards around me all year round. If I want to take action, I need to solve these bodyguards first. After wiping the knife, Tian Hai put it back into its sheath and lay on the bed, quietly thinking about all the information about the target he had just obtained, hoping to find a place to use it. This idea is that Tian Hai has been lying in bed for several hours without moving. If he doesn't breathe normally, people who see him may think he has been sleeping soundly long ago. As time passed by and by midnight, the nine celestial bodies in the solar system slowly turned into a straight line in the night sky. Just as the nine celestial bodies were about to form a straight line, a small meteor surrounded by flames due to its high movement suddenly rushed in from outside the solar system and joined the ranks of planetary clusters. In an instant, a strange black light formed from the outermost meteor, shining straight towards Earth through Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. When this black light arrived on Earth, it happened to shine at the center of the city where Tian Hai was located. When this black light came into contact with the ground, a powerful energy wave burst out. In just a few seconds, it swept across the entire small town and reached the outermost part of the city. The energy suddenly stopped and began to rapidly recover. When the energy all returned to the initial point, a small black hole appeared there. The black hole grew thousands of times in less than a minute and became a huge black hole almost the same size as the city. The entire city, along with the soil about a hundred meters underground, was sucked in by the black hole. This black hole existed for a short time of less than ten minutes. When the black hole disappeared, the city where Tian Hai was located also disappeared. There is only a huge pit that is as deep as one hundred meters left in place, and the underground water continuously surges up at the bottom of the pit. When the rescue team receiving the information arrives, this place has completely transformed from a small city to a huge lake. A huge disaster caused by the ten-star consecutive bead, a small city with a population of nearly 400,000 in northeast China mysteriously disappeared during the ten-star consecutive bead period, leaving only a huge lake. At the time of the disaster, 
the National Earthquake Administration and the observatory simultaneously detected a huge energy that had appeared at the disaster site. The biggest unsolved mystery of the 22nd century. Hundreds of thousands of people and the entire city's buildings mysteriously disappeared overnight. Terrifying 10-star combo. Almost all countries on Earth have detected the appearance of that black hole, but due to the 10-star connection, no satellite has captured the live situation. They can only make various speculations based on the energy response, but no matter how hard they try, they cannot find even the shadow of a disappearing city. Hundreds of thousands of people and a small city seem to have suddenly been transferred to other spaces. For the people on Earth, this is a mysterious event and an unsolved mystery born in the 22nd century. However, for the people living in this city like Tian Hai, it is not that simple. Just as that energy exploded in the city, almost everyone was instantly knocked unconscious by the raging energy. Only a small number of people were not knocked unconscious by the raging energy for various reasons. Tian Hai was one of them. At that time, he was lying in bed, studying the information of the target character in his mind. Suddenly, he felt the whole room shake, and a huge energy rushed into his body from the top of his head. After a violent flush inside his body, it rushed out from under his feet. This energy came with great force and quickly felt like a black head in front of Tian Hai. Before he could pass out, the power of the nine bears in his body suddenly became active and rushed into his mind, completely enveloping his brain. Tian Hai had a small crystal block in his mind when he realized that he had the special ability of nine bears. The power of the nine bears is unleashed through this crystal block. Usually, the crystal block stays in Tian Hai's brain without moving, and only when Tian Hai uses the power of the nine bears will it react. Today, under the pressure of the external energy, it surprisingly moved itself and burst out with pure energy directly forming a protective shield in Tianhai's brain to protect it. It was with the help of the crystal block energy that Tianhai was not knocked unconscious by this violent energy, just as all the violent energy flowed away from his feet. Haisong thought that the matter had come to an end. That energy actually rushed back from the soles of its feet and crazily rushed towards Tianhai's brain in the completely opposite direction as before. The power of the nine bears in Tian Hai had just returned to the crystal block when it was once again triggered by this energy. Once again, a fierce battle between the two energies began in Tian Hai's mind. This intense battle of two energies is somewhat different from before. The nine bear power of Tian Hai did not react until this energy started attacking Tian Hai's brain. The nine bear power only reacted and remained in a defensive state. Before it could adapt to this way of fighting, the external berserk energy flowed away from its feet. After being prepared, the nine bears of Tian Hai no longer only defended, but also engaged in a fierce battle with foreign berserk energy based on Haisong's brain, using Tian Hai's body as the battlefield. When two energies are attacking each other, Tian Hai himself is unable to insert any hands. Although the nine bear power ability has been awakened for a long time, Tian Hai has always been in the most basic control stage of this ability. In addition to being able to perceive the existence of the crystal block, one can only use its abilities. This battle was completely triggered by the automatic reaction of the crystal block due to the attack of external violent energy. Even if Tian Hai wanted to intervene, he didn't know how to intervene. However, Tian Hai could feel that during the battle between the two energies, there would occasionally be a trace of energy scattered to various parts of the body due to the conflict. Although the power of the nine bears dominates the territory, the quantity and intensity of external violent energy are not something that the nine bears can resist. After more than ten seconds of mutual struggle, the nine bears begin to gradually decline and retreat into the brain of the heavenly sea, relying on crystals to barely sustain themselves and not continue to decline. Under the increasingly strong attacks from the external berserk energy, the strength of the nine bears is only defensive, without any counterattack. Just as Zhou Xiong's strength was about to break through the formation and be attacked by external violent energy into the brain of Tian Hai, the source of external violent energy suddenly cut off. 
There is no longer a constant surge of violent energy from the feet like before. But only the violent energy inside Tian Hai is still attacking the power of the Nine Bears. Now, the external berserk energy is not as powerful as the Nine Bears' power. The Nine Bears' power relies on the Heavenly Sea and can be replenished from within the Sea Pine at any time. Although the replenishment may not be fast, the external berserk energy has been partially replenished, but now it has been dispersed a little less. Quickly, the two energies reached a state of almost balance, and just as Tian Hai thought that the foreign violent energy would be completely dissipated by the power of the Nine Bears, the two energies suddenly stopped fighting fiercely. The Nine Bears' power slowly returned to the crystal block and slowly recovered. The external violent energy followed the path that had just been washed away and entered the lower Dantian of Tian Hai. A red crystal block slowly took shape in the lower Dantian of Tian Hai. During the intense battle between two energies, Tian Hai dared not move at all. Although he knew something was not right, he was afraid that something might happen to Zhou Xiong power due to his own activities, so he didn't dare to move at all. Now that both energies had calmed down, Tian Hai quickly jumped out of bed. At this point, the home was completely out of shape. Although Tian Hai dared not open his eyes to look around during the intense energy battle, he could feel that the entire building had shaken several times, giving him the feeling of an earthquake. Although Tian Hai has never experienced an earthquake, he has seen a lot of knowledge about earthquakes on television and newspapers. Fortunately, the quality of the building is still good, and after a few vibrations, it stopped shaking. Although the house did not collapse, all the things inside were played with, and the TV and computer were all shaken to the ground. It seems that even if it is not broken, it is not much better. Some fragile glass or porcelain products are even worse, shattered everywhere. Tian Hai now has no interest in these things and just runs to the window to look out. Fortunately, he could see dozens of buildings and a street around him. Although these buildings were a bit disheveled, none of them collapsed, indicating that the casualties were not very serious. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Although it's already late at night, everyone should have sensed the vibration just now, but there was no sound at all. The whole city seemed to suddenly enter darkness and silence, with no sound at all, even the speeding sound of taxis that was often heard before disappeared. That energy just now. A sudden thought came to Tianhai's mind, which startled his whole body. The damage of that energy was probably clearer to no one than him. With his body possessing superpowers, he almost couldn't resist those ordinary people. As soon as Tian Hai thought of it, he quickly rushed back into the house, picked up the knife, carried it on his back, and rushed upstairs to start his motorcycle and drive straight towards the city. Tian Hai grew up in this city, where most of his parents, relatives, and friends were. He is really worried that the energy he just received may cause any harm to his family. Tianhai's parents are not very old, but they are just in their early fifties because they are unwilling to let their old neighbors buy this building in Tianhai and refuse to move in with Tianhai. Instead, they live in the old house and play with a group of elderly neighbors every day, which makes Tianhai envious. On the way to the old house, Tianhai saw many night taxis parked casually on the road, many of which even stopped directly in the middle of the road. Haisong deliberately stopped and looked at them several times. Fortunately, the drivers in these taxis did not have any problems, but they all fainted. It seems that they were knocked unconscious by the violent energy just now. Except for Tian Hai, the whole city seems to have passed out. Tian Hai drove for nearly ten minutes on the road and saw dozens of taxis, but not a single conscious person saw them. Everyone, without exception, passed out. Hope my parents just passed out. Never have any problems. Tian Hai silently prayed in his heart while crazily adding. The place where Tian Hai's parents live is already on the outskirts of the city, and walking a few hundred meters further will lead you out of the city and into the suburbs. When Tian Hai arrived at the old house, it was already close to three o'clock and he didn't even have time to park his motorcycle. He jumped off his motorcycle, which was nearly a hundred kilometers away, 
and rushed into the old house. The motorcycle crashed straight into a wall, emitting a spark and exploding into a fire. Chapter 2 Terrifying Mountains You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tian Hai quickly found his parents who were living in the old house. Fortunately, both of them lay in bed with a peaceful expression and underwent a check dot up for a while. Tian Hai felt relieved that his parents, like everyone else in the city, had just passed out without any harm. As long as they woke up, there would be no problem. Although Tian Hai knew that his parents had just passed out, he still felt a bit uneasy and wanted to wake them up. He reached out and pressed the switch by the bed to turn on the light. I pressed it a few times, but there was no power outage. It's also possible that some cable might have been broken by the earthquake. Tian Hai took out his phone and wanted to check the time. Suddenly, the signal bar on his phone showed no signal. How could this be possible? This is the urban area. Even if there is a power outage, it has nothing to do with the signal tower. How could there be no signal? Is it that the phone is broken? Did you find all your parents' phones and see if the situation was the same as your own phone without any signal? Now Tian Hai feels a bit strange in his heart. Strange, strange. Tian Hai is not in the mood to deal with these things yet. He directly pushed his parents and tried to wake them up, but after pushing several times, there was no response. Even if you faint, you shouldn't die like this. Tian Hai was taken aback. Did he overlook something during his inspection just now and not find out the true situation of his parents? The more I thought about it, the more scared Tian Haifei was. He quickly reached out and pressed his hand on his parents' head, mobilizing the power of the nine bears inside his body to carefully enter their bodies. Although Tian Hai used to be able to control the power of the nine bears to do the same thing, it was very difficult. However, this time it is different. The feeling of difficulty is not the same, as if the power of the nine bears suddenly became gentle. Tian Hai just started reciting the power of the nine bears and it flowed into his parents' heads. This should be a fierce battle against the raging energy that brings its own benefits. Tian Hai began to check on his parents while thinking about it. Sure enough, things are not that simple. Parents were also invaded by that violent energy, and now that violent energy is lingering in their minds. This is also the reason why parents fainted. However, that violent energy was ultimately an external energy that had no foundation in the parents' minds. Most of the energy that was slowly spreading outwards now had been dispersed into the air through their bodies, and a small portion had been naturally absorbed by their bodies when it spread outwards. If this energy only caused his parents to faint, Tian Hai might not hesitate to use the power of the nine bears to drive them out. But now that they are scattered, they are constantly nourishing their parents' bodies, which makes Tian Hai feel a bit embarrassed. Tian Hai is very clear about the benefits of absorbing this energy for his body. Although he has not tested it specifically, he can determine that his physical fitness has improved by at least two to three times just based on his feeling when he rushed on the road. And a brand new crystal block has also formed in Zyadanshan, although it is currently unknown what use this brand new crystal block will have. But just by looking at how similar it is to the crystal block of nine bear power, one can guess that once this crystal block stabilizes, it will definitely bring great benefits to oneself. A brand new ability appeared on oneself. Although parents may not receive such great benefits like themselves, if they were allowed to absorb more of this energy, their physical fitness would definitely improve significantly. Even if it doesn't double, they can definitely recover to the same level as when they were young. After thinking for a moment, Tian Hai decided to mobilize his nine bears power and start applying a shield to his parents' minds. He used his own energy to surround their brains, preventing the energy from dissipating outside the body and increasing the amount of energy absorbed by his parents as much as possible. Tian Hai has never done the same or similar thing before, and this is the first time he has been so flexible and free to use the power of the nine bears. It looks like the effect is quite good. 
After the protective cover was formed, Tian Hai observed for a while and confirmed that all the energy was trapped in the parents' bodies and would not dissipate or cause any harm to their bodies. It would only give the parents a chance to absorb more energy and let their hearts rest. It seems that my parents won't be able to wake up for a while. Tian Hai calculated that if there were no supernatural beings like himself to help it dissipate on its own, it would take at least three days for this energy to completely dissipate. And while blocking all the energy into one's own body like one does to their parents, it also slows down the dissipation of this energy. It takes at least five days for all the energy in one's parents' body to be absorbed and dissipated. It is unlikely that parents will wake up before all that energy dissipates, which means that the entire city should wake up collectively in three days. After arranging his parents, Tian Hai walked out of the old house and returned to the street. He wanted to see if he could find a landline phone to send a message to the outside world. Hai Song didn't know how many people in this city were still sober. I don't think there will be many people, after all, the condition to wake up is to resist the invasion of that energy, which is not something that ordinary people can do. Everyone in the city has entered a coma state, coupled with power outages and no signal on their phones. I guess the outside world doesn't know what happened in this small town yet. If it were in another city, Tian Hai might not bother with such meddling, but it's not possible here because there are too many of his family and friends in this small town. In his eagerness, Hao Tsai only thought of his parents and other relatives and friends who had no time or energy to think. Now that he knew his parents were fine, he naturally had to find ways to help those relatives and friends. If you rely on yourself to watch alone for three days without doing anything, just keep going around the city. The best way is to find someone to help you. It's unlikely to find someone to help in this city, so Tian Hai just wants to find a way to spread information to the outside world and send people to help. It's best to directly contact the government so there's no need to worry. Both his own phone and his parents' phone have no signal, indicating that it's not a problem but a signal tower problem. In this case, 80% of other people's phones are also in the same situation. Tian Hai didn't bother to find a phone and instead went straight to find a landline phone. This is the edge of the city, surrounded by residential areas without any telephone halls. However, after walking for more than 10 minutes towards the distance, you will reach the high road out of the city. Remember, there is a gas station there with a landline phone. After Tian Hai came out of the old house, he walked straight to the gas station. At this moment, he really regretted why he was so anxious just now and didn't stop the motorcycle. Instead, he jumped down directly, and as a result, the motorcycle was completely scrapped. Otherwise, one can ride a motorcycle and walk back and forth in just a few minutes. While thinking about Tian Hai, I took a few steps towards the road and suddenly saw a taxi driver parked in the center of the road fainting on the steering wheel. Walking up to the taxi, he poked his head inside and glanced at the current car key, which was inserted into the car. Tian Hai Monster smiled and opened the car door, pulling the driver out of the car and lying flat on the street. You should faint here. Anyway, wherever you faint, it's just like a car for you. Just borrow it from me and use it for a while, and I'll drive it back for you. Tian Hai politely discussed with the unconscious driver while sitting in the car, turning on the gas pedal and driving straight towards the gas station. Having a car for transportation is different. It was originally expected to take about 10 minutes to walk, but it was only a little over 2 minutes away. But just as I turned onto the highway Tian Hai, I was stunned. What appeared in front of him was not the smooth and unobstructed highway he remembered, but a mountain peak that was almost impossible to see when looking up. How could it be? How could there be a mountain peak here? Tian Hai couldn't believe what he saw in front of him and rubbed his eyes hard as he walked out of the car. After walking to the peak and confirming with his hands, Tian Hai finally believed that what he saw was not an illusion but a real mountain peak. Looking on both sides, Tian Hai realized that this mountain peak was not just blocking here, but was spreading straight to both sides. From this angle, Tian Hai had no way to see how long this mountain peak was. Did the earthquake just cause crustal movement? 
two pieces of crust collide with each other to create such a mountain peak. It doesn't make sense. The small town is not located at the edge of the Earth's crust, and even if two pieces of crust collide with each other, it is impossible to create a mountain peak here. Secondly, if it is really like that, what level of earthquake magnitude would it take to create a mountain peak out of thin air? How could the small town still remain intact? Not a single building collapsed. The more Tian Hai thought about it, the more confused he became. He reached out and pinched himself hard. He now suspected that everything he had just experienced was just a dream. Not all the people in the small town have gone into a coma. I haven't seen any peaks myself. All of this is just my own dream. The intense pain told him that things were not what he thought they were, not just a dream, but actually existed. Tian Hai stared blankly at the mountain peak for five minutes before suddenly turning around and returning to the car, lifting it up to the highest speed and driving towards the city center. In the center of this small town, there is a high dot rise building that has just been built for less than two years. It is the tallest building in the small town with over 30 floors, which is unique among the average six or seven story buildings in the small town. Tian Hai drove the taxi directly to the lower floor of this 30 story building, opened the car door, and came to the front of the building. Looking at the 30 story building, Tian Hai took a deep breath and muttered to himself, The power of a bear. After receiving the command from Tian Hai, the crystal block in my mind quickly released an energy and rushed directly to Tian Hai's limbs. Tian Hai's limbs instantly expanded in a circle and became about the same size as his waist. With his thick legs and a full circle of steps, Tian Hai flew down the stairs and ran towards the top floor. With the support of Xiong Zhili, three or more floors were nothing to Tian Hai. It only took him a little over a minute to reach the top floor. Standing on the rooftop, Tian Hai looked around and was stunned for half a day because he couldn't believe what he saw in front of him. From his position, you can already see the entire small town in front of you. Before, standing in this position, besides everything in the small town, you could even see a clean and dry river, the South River, which is less than 10 kilometers away from the small town. But now he could only see four towering peaks located in the east, west, south, and north directions of the entire small town, tightly surrounding it in all directions except for the familiar small town. These four peaks, except for the one that Tian Hai personally touched just now, are all located at a certain distance from the city. From this location, Tian Hai cannot accurately determine how far apart they are, but it is estimated that they are at most 10 kilometers apart. What the hell is going on here? Just as Tian Hai stared blankly at the surrounding mountains, trying to figure out what was going on, a black shadow suddenly flashed before his eyes. Black shadow. A hint of unease suddenly flashed in Tian Hai's heart. He remembered clearly that when he came out of home, it was after two o'clock in the late night. Even if he had delayed a little time at the old house, at most it was after three o'clock in the late night, which was the darkest time of the night. But now the sky has brightened up unconsciously, so much so that even the shadows of flying animals in the sky can imprint on the ground and turn into a black shadow. The look of Tian Hai looking up at the sky completely made him understand that something incomprehensible should not have happened just now due to an earthquake. This place may no longer be Earth, and it is absolutely impossible for three moons to appear on Earth, even if they are nine stars in a row. Ten stars in a row would never create three moons in the sky above Earth. Connect the anomalies in the sky with the mountains on all sides. Tian Hai increasingly believes in the idea he just came up with, but Tian Hai would rather think that he is wrong. If this is Earth, even if there are mountains separated, people outside will do everything possible to help the people in the small town. But if this is not Earth, it means that the people in the small town have been completely isolated from the world due to the existence of those four peaks, and it's hard to say what kind of world this is. That dark shadow just now. By the way, what about that bird? Tian Hai suddenly remembered something and quickly began searching for the owner of the dark shadow in the air. Unfortunately, T 
Tian Hai turned his gaze to the extreme and couldn't find the owner of the dark shadow just now. If he could see the owner of that shadow, he could roughly tell what kind of world this world is. Standing on the rooftop of Tian Hai, my mind was filled with a lot of chaotic thoughts. Even the time travel novels I used to read at the starting point were all remembered. Now, I really hope that the small town I am in has traveled to a recorded era in history. At least in that case, there will still be human beings outside. But if one had the misfortune to travel to a world without humans, it would be disastrous. It's better for external creatures to be weaker and not to use magic or aggression. With the physical fitness of these people in the small town, if they lose the powerful weapon of technology, Tian Hai can't imagine surviving in front of powerful monsters for a few years. Chapter 3 Disaster Preparedness You are listening at NovelFull.audio After standing on the rooftop and daydreaming for a while, when Tian Hai walked down from the rooftop, his time was not as good as when he went upstairs. When he went upstairs, he only took more than a minute to go downstairs, but it took more than five minutes. After arriving downstairs, Tian Hai vigorously patted his face to wake himself up. Retrieve the power of the bear and quickly move into the car, heading straight towards the city center. No matter if the situation is as serious as one thinks, Tian Hai needs to make some preparations first. In this isolated place, the most important things are food and water. I don't know if we can find a water source in this place surrounded by mountains on all sides. If there is no water source, hundreds of thousands of people in this city will soon die of thirst. How are others? Tian Hai has no time or mood to manage now. He only wants his family and friends to live safely, so now he needs to store a large amount of water and food while everyone is unconscious. At the very least, he must ensure that his family and friends do not go hungry until they find a water source and food source. Convenient food and water for storage are all concentrated in the city of Tian Hai. This time, there is no polite idea and I am driving towards the largest car in the city, while paying attention to the various vehicles on the roadside, he wanted to find a vehicle that could carry a large amount of goods. With this taxi, he couldn't transport much goods in a few days. In front of a freight station, Tian Hai found a large truck and without hesitation, gave up the taxi and drove the truck to the largest city in the city. Central Red City is located on a pedestrian street in the city center. Normally, this street is not open to even bicycles, not to mention large trucks. However, today, Tian Hai swaggered in with a large truck and rushed in, crushing countless tiles on the ground. Tian Hai doesn't care at all about these losses now. Maybe he used to worry about whether it would cause him any trouble. Do you still need to worry about these things now? After everyone in the city wakes up, it won't be long before they realize the situation they are facing. Who else will care if the tiles on the pedestrian street are intact? After parking the large truck, Tian Hai entered the central red market. It was already late at night, and the gates of the central red market had already been locked. Unfortunately, these locks seemed to have no effect on Tian Hai, who used the bear power ability. He just smashed all these locks with a few punches. If it were before being transformed by that energy, Tian Hai might not have been so easy, but now his physical fitness has fully increased by two times. There are more than nine bear power abilities that increase strength in multiples of the body, which means that the stronger the body, the stronger the strength and defense it increases after using the ability. The current state of Tian Hai when using the power of the bear is not much different from when using the power of the three bears in the past, and even requires some minimal burden on the body. The power of the bear is not something that can be used casually, but it also causes a great burden on the body. The higher the level of the power used, the heavier the burden. In the past, when Tian Hai used the lowest level ability of bear power, he could only persist for over an hour. If he continued for a longer time, his body would be too tired to persist. But now Tian Hai is confident that using the power of the bear for five to six hours will definitely not have any problems. Even the power of the three bears can last for about half an hour. 
Perhaps even the previously unusable power of the five bears can be used. After entering the city, Tian Hai pushed a large row of shopping carts without saying a word and walked towards the city, taking everything he saw and wanted as long as he felt it might be useful in the future. Unfortunately, the electric lights in the city have malfunctioned, and the sky is a bit dark, making it difficult for people to see clearly in the city. Fortunately, it's just that I can't see the words on the packaging clearly. But what can generally be distinguished? Tian Hai doesn't have time to worry about these things anymore. Anyway, as long as they are well preserved, they should take everything they may use in the future and take more. Quickly, more than a dozen shopping carts were filled to the point where Tian Hai had to activate Xiong Zhili to push these lined up shopping carts, otherwise they would have no control over them. Pushing these shopping carts to the outside of the city, Tian Hai stood directly next to the carriage and picked them up one by one, regardless of the things inside being afraid of being bumped, and they all fell into the carriage. After running back and forth for dozens of times, I finally filled up this large truck. 80% of the contents were food and drink, especially the easily stored bagged food and bottled water. As long as I saw them, I didn't let them go. In addition to these, Tian Hai also specially brought some daily necessities such as knives and clothes, and even a whole box of toothbrushes. After starting the truck, Tian Hai began to find it difficult to put so many things where to go. It's absolutely not possible in the city. After everyone understands the situation, it will definitely cause a big chaos. At that time, as long as it is food and drink, they will be snatched and placed in the city. The possibility of being found is too high and unsafe. Outside the city. It's not possible outside the city either. There is no road outside the city. When standing on a rooftop over 30 stories high, Tian Hai specifically saw that only those who crossed over this time were from the outskirts of the city, almost bordered by the edge of the city. They didn't follow us, which means they said whether the city's trucks could still move forward. Tian Hai really dares not say. What kind of world is this outside the city? Tian Hai still hasn't learned anything about whether there are any powerful creatures outside the city. If there were a few Warcraft creatures often mentioned in novels, all of his belongings would be lost. After thinking for a while, Tian Hai thought of a place where he had personally come into contact with the mountain peak below, which was close to the city and had many roads leading to it. More importantly, the stone on that mountain peak was not very hard. Although Tian Hai did not try it at that time, the field told him that if he used the power of the three bears, he should be able to dig a cave under that mountain peak in a short period of time. Think about it, then drive back to the peak and park the car right next to it. Tian Hai gets off the car and starts running towards the distance along the peak. This mountain peak is located at the intersection of the original urban area and the surrounding area. There are many old houses left behind before the urban renovation, and 80% of these old houses are bungalows with large courtyards. Tian Hai used to live near here for a long time and had a deep impact on the surrounding environment. It didn't take him long before he found a very suitable place. That is an old house with a yard of nearly a hundred square meters. Who is the owner of this old house? Tian Hai can't remember. He only remembers that since he started to remember, no one has lived in this old house. The yard has long been covered with weeds. The courtyard is just fine, and what suits Tian Hai the most is that this old house is tightly adjacent to the stone wall of the mountain, with a distance of less than one meter between the two. If a large hole is dug behind the old house and the stone wall is blocked, no one will easily see the existence of this hole. Just think of becoming Tian Hai, knowing that time is tight. Now everyone in the city is in a coma, which gives them the opportunity to move around freely. If everyone wakes up, things will not be so simple, and Tian Hai has other things to do besides transferring some supplies. Run to the back of the old house and take out a pre-prepared engineering shovel. This is also the shovel he used in the city, with a sharp head. If it can be used to dig stones, it would be better than digging empty-handed. First, 
try using the power of the bear to expand your limbs by about twice, and then forcefully dig towards the stone wall. The Spark Force shooting engineer's shovel was bounced back and Tian Hai looked at the place where he had dug, but there was only a white mark and not a single stone was dug. This is too hard. It's far from what I expected, but by this time, even if Tian Hai wants to regret it, it's too late. In a fit of anger, Tian Hai activated the power of the three bears and waved the engineering shovel in his hand again. Fortunately, he was able to dig this time, but the wear and tear of the engineering shovel was a bit large. In just a few minutes, all the engineering shovels in his hand were sharpened. Tian Hai looked at the small hole in front of him that had just been able to hide a person, and with a somewhat helpless smile, he threw the engineering shovel onto the ground to retrieve the ability and turned to run towards the direction of the truck. After returning to the truck, Tian Hai spent some time unloading all the things on the car and putting them on the roadside, while driving towards the city again. After returning to the city, Tian Hai didn't rush to go to the market again to pack the supplies he hadn't finished last time, but instead searched for the military goods store in his memory. Previously, Tian Hai was not very interested in military products. When he was on missions abroad, he didn't have time to conceal his identity. Where would he use things with logos, so tools and other items were all customized, and he never used common things in the world. He had no impression of military product stores, only remembered seeing them somewhere. After wandering on the street for nearly half an hour, Tian Hai found a military supplies store and broke through the old rules to enter. He searched inside and loaded all possible useful items into the car. This includes nearly a hundred engineering shovels. Returning to the market with these things, Tian Hai did not pack the bagged food this time, but instead searched for items such as flour, rice, soybean oil, salt, etc., and focused on these items to fill the cart again. When Tian Hai returned to the hole he had just dug, he held over a hundred engineering shovels in his hand, some of which were taken from military supply stores and some from the city. After putting all the engineering shovels in a readily accessible place, Tian Hai spat out a splash of water into his palm and activated the three bears' power to start digging desperately. Every few minutes of excavation, a new engineering shovel is needed. With the support of a large number of engineering shovels, the progress of the cave has also achieved gratifying results. In just over an hour, when more than 100 engineering shovels were scrapped, the cave had already transformed from less than 1 meter deep to a large hole that was over 30 meters deep and 50 meters wide. The entrance of the cave is not large, and only one person comes in and goes deep for about 2 meters before suddenly expanding to both sides. This is to prevent potential dangers, and when the entrance is crucial, it can be a barrier to block the enemy. At the moment, Tian Hai is not in the mood to plan this cave bit by bit, so he knows how to dig it well. The entire cave wall is completely uneven, with rough pits and packages. Although rough, Tian Hai was still very satisfied with this cave. He couldn't say that the two carts he had brought could be put down by at least half. As long as he found some more engineering shovels to expand the cave a few times, he could put down all the things he had brought. He brought all the scrapped engineering shovels to Tian Hai and returned to the truck. This time, he didn't rush back to the city or transport the things piled up around him to the cave. Instead, he rested in the driver's cab for a while. The burden of three bear power on his body is too great. Although his physical fitness has increased by more than twice compared to before, using three bear power for half an hour in a row to compete with incredibly hard stones still makes him feel very tired. After resting for a full two hours, Tian Hai felt his body recover and also experienced a strange change in his body. Before, he used to overuse his powers and caused fatigue in his body, so he would sleep heavily and wake up, and his body would recover almost completely. But this time he lay in the cab for a full two hours without any drowsiness, even though the environment was not very comfortable. In the past, even in the wilderness, he could still sleep dizzy and the ground was much worse than here. After the body recovered, Tian Hai forgot all these things and now is not the time to think about them. 
I took a look at the watch and it was already past 10 o'clock in the morning. Not too much time. Tian Hai took out a bottle of water and a bag of bread from the pile of things and started the truck again. Just as he was about to drive to the city, Tian Hai suddenly ran out of gasoline in stock. Last night, Tian Hai drove this truck in the city without turning lightly, especially when searching for a military goods store. It's not surprising that he didn't have much gasoline to add. Not far away was the gas station where Tian Hai drove his car directly to the gas station. While refueling, Tian Hai suddenly remembered that he should have prepared some gasoline before realizing what kind of world he was in. If there were no gasoline in this world, it would not be impossible. If gasoline is used up, many things will become decorations, but what kind of decoration should we use? Using a gasoline tank. Waving is a problem and it takes up too much space. The place in that cave, Tian Hai, is planned to use it all to hold food and daily necessities. If it's used to hold gasoline, it won't hold much. Forget it for now, even if all the cars will turn into waste in the future, and there will be legs and bicycles that can be used for food. These things are different, but if they are missing, it can be life.threatening. After filling up the car with gas, Tian Hai drove back to the city with food and water. He had already prepared two full trucks, which would be enough for at least a few months or even a year. Tian Hai didn't plan to use such things anymore to shift his focus to other items. He drove around on the street and saw something that might be useful. He immediately went in, took it out, and loaded it onto the car. After packing a whole cart of miscellaneous items, Tian Hai returned to the cave once again. This time, he had prepared a full 500 engineering shovels and found a warehouse in a military supplies store. He took almost all the military supplies inside, including bedding, clothes, knives, tools, and so on. Although these things are not frequently used, Tian Hai still understands that compared to similar items on the market, military products are resistant to the same things and have a quality that is at least several times better. After delivering everything this time, Tian Hai did not return to the city. Instead, he sent all the 500 engineering shovels to the cave and used them to expand the entire cave several times. Now the entire cave is nearly 300 square meters long and has been divided into two parts. Outside, there are only over 100 square meters that Tian Hai intends to use for living. After passing through a small opening on the side, it will enter a large cave of over 200 square meters, which Tian Hai plans to use for storing things. Chapter 4 The Beginning of Awakening You are listening at NovelFull.audio The highway is over a hundred meters away from here. If we had to rely on our hands to move all three vehicles of supplies one by one, we wouldn't have been able to do it in a day or two. Tian Hai didn't plan to do that either. He walked directly to the front of the truck, separated the front from the body, and then crawled under the body. He activated the three bare force and pressed his hands against the crossbeam at the bottom of the body, roaring and forcefully pushing the entire body up. He walked towards the cave step by step with deep footprints against the car body, Tian Hai. At the beginning, he was on the side of the road, but at least the land in those areas was relatively solid. His feet landed on the ground, leaving a deep footprint at most. However, when he reached the dirt road, he suffered a lot. Every foot that fell would reach his knees, requiring a lot of effort to pull them out, as if walking in a swamp. After delivering the car body to the yard of the old house, Tian Hai unloaded all the goods in the car into the yard and carried the car body back to the side of the highway to load the previously unloaded goods onto the car again. Tian Hai ran back and forth three times before transporting all the things to the cave. At this point, Tian Hai also relaxed and everything was transported here, so there was no rush. Anyway, there were still more than two days before everyone woke up automatically, and there was enough time to deliver these things one by one to the cave. On the other hand, his parents Tian Hai was a bit worried. After resting for a while, Tian Hai sent the car back onto the road and also spent some time covering up the three rows of deep footprints he had just made. 
Driving that big truck, Tian Hai returned to the old house where his parents lived. Fortunately, the second old man is still unconscious and has not given birth to anything. After seeing the two elders, Tian Hai suddenly realized that he had been thinking about preparing food and daily necessities, completely forgetting to prepare some medicines. If he couldn't return to earth in a short time, those medicines would come in great use. After resting for a few hours in the old house, Tian Hai ran away again between the city and the cave, preparing everything he could think of and sending it back to the cave. The more things were given, the more they were. The cave that Tian Hai thought was already almost sufficient soon ran out of use. Helpless, Tian Hai had to spend half a day again expanding the entire cave nearly twice before finally putting down all the things. Some small and unimportant items, such as bicycles, were not even taken from the cave and placed in the old house outside the cave. Anyway, this place is quite remote and ordinary people would not even walk here. All of these have been completed, and the time has already reached dusk the next day. Those who are in a coma in the next day should all wake up. Although everything that should be done on this side of the cave has been done well, Tian Hai doesn't want to just expose the cave like this. After all, he still can't be sure what kind of reaction the people in the small town will make when they know the situation. Perhaps it will be as chaotic and impulsive as one thinks, but it is also possible to become sincere and united due to this sudden fact. Before leaving the cave, Tian Hai spent over an hour hiding the cave entrance. The traces left by transporting things back and forth have all been eliminated. After finishing these things, Tian Hai returned to the old house where his parents lived and quietly guarded their bodies because of the layer of power shield he had set up. The time it takes for parents to wake up will be much longer than others. If left unchecked, there may be problems, so they come back here to guard. When the time approached midnight for three days, those who had fainted woke up one by one, and when they first woke up, they were still confused one by one. For them, they just felt like they had slept for a while without any feeling of being unconscious for three days. The situation on the street was not visible to Tian Hai, and he could only see the situation of a few neighbors around his parents' old house. From the situation of these neighbors, people were relatively calm. After waking up one by one, they were at most curious about why there was a sudden power outage, water outage, and no signal from their phones, so they didn't think much. But as more and more people woke up, things began to unfold in a bad direction because someone saw three moons hanging high in the sky. Even the slowest person now understands that things are not going well, and when they connect with various inaccuracies, someone quickly guesses the current situation. These people who guessed the situation had a similar reaction to what Tian Hai had just shown, one by one panicked and shouting loudly. It was their shouting that reminded those who did not react that everyone quickly understood. The vast majority of people do not have the experience of Tian Hai, and they only know that they have risked their lives to hide at home without any sense of crisis. This situation only lasted for a few hours until everyone accepted this fact and their minds calmed down a bit before they began to think. The first thing that comes to mind for the vast majority of people is to store food and water, but when they bring money to the streets, they realize that money has completely lost its function in this city, and the only thing left is the right to money. When the first person forcefully broke open the store door and entered, everyone lost their rationality and rushed in. In just a few minutes, a store was empty. Those who returned empty-handed were unwilling, and were stimulated by the scene just now. They formed one team after another and smashed up various supplies when they saw a shop on the street. They snatched them out of the shop and transported them to their respective homes. Some useless things were casually thrown on the street. At the beginning, everyone consciously or unconsciously restrained themselves from grabbing and fighting, but they didn't actually kill anyone. But when a police officer with a matching gun shot and killed someone with a bag of flour, the whole city suddenly became bloody. When there is a conflict again, people will no longer hold their hands. They are all ruthless, afraid that they will not kill the other person but instead be killed by the other person's backhand. 
It only took a short half day for Tian Hai to wake up from a coma throughout the city and spread to the bloody scene everywhere. Throughout this process, Tian Hai remained quietly observing. When he saw that the vast majority of the people were already red-eyed and would take action first, regardless of whether there was conflict with him or not, he knew that things were really going as he had anticipated. It's much worse than I expected. After the first flame rose in a certain part of the city, not long after, half of the city was engulfed in a sea of flames, with chaotic crowds everywhere. The flames that were ignited before were all thrown into a sea of flames by power institutions on earth, such as governments, courts, police stations, etc. Seeing this, Tian Hai completely understands that this chaos will not end for a while. If the situation is better, hundreds of thousands of people can still survive in the small town when people calm down after the chaos. If the situation becomes uncontrollable, the population in the small town may also drop to an extreme point when the chaos ends. Although he couldn't bear to see this form of Zhang Tian Hai, he had no way to rely on him. Even if he stood up, it wouldn't have any effect except for shouting down some crazy people. Carrying his father and his mother with two huge boxes in his hands, Tian Hai left the old house and walked straight towards the cave. This is already the outermost part of the city, and the chaos has not yet spread. The vast majority of young people have gone to the city center, leaving behind only some elderly people and children. These elderly people and children are also frightened and hide inside, afraid to come out. Tian Hai's departure did not attract anyone's attention even if a few people occasionally saw it, they would not take it to heart. Tian Hai arrived at the cave very smoothly. At the innermost part of the cave, Tian Hai had already prepared a place to live and put all his parents there to check on their situation. Tian Hai felt relieved. Before the situation reached this point, Tian Hai didn't transfer his parents here early because he didn't know if moving his parents' bodies while they were absorbing that energy would have an impact on their bodies. If there is any negative impact, it would be regrettable. Fortunately, there was no significant change in the situation inside his parents. Tianhai's mind finally let go. While digging this cave, he deliberately left a few huge stones, all of which were placed in the cave. As long as he moved them to the cave entrance and blocked it, no one would want to easily enter the cave unless there was someone like Tianhai with superpowers or immense strength. After arranging his parents, Tian Hai pushed out a motorcycle from the old house in front of him and drove towards the city. Now the situation is clear, and the whole city is almost in chaos. It's hard to say who can survive and who will die in this chaos. In addition to their closest parents, Tian Hai also has a few good friends and iron brothers who grew up together in this city. Living here, he spent so much effort preparing so many supplies a few days ago, not just for himself and his parents. He now wants to go to the city to see his friends and bring them here. After the chaos ends, he will decide what to do next. A few days ago, he didn't go to pick up these friends because he didn't know how to explain the life story to them after they woke up. Even if he could explain it clearly, would they agree with his views? It's also hard to say, secondly, the situation at that time was not yet clear, and no one knew in which direction the situation in the small town would unfold after the people woke up. If it's moving in a positive direction, then bringing them here yourself would be a good intention to do something bad. Not only did it not help them, but it could also harm them. But now there's no need to think too much. The events happening in the small town have already proven Tianhai's ideas. Unless a large number of troops appear, the chaos in the small town will not be able to end in a short period of time. By the end, the hundreds of thousands of people in the small town are expected to suffer significant losses. More importantly, because these people in this chaotic small town will enter a complete state of anarchy, it will depend on who has more manpower and whose strength is stronger. There is no longer any etiquette or shame, but only the law of the jungle. In this situation, Tian Hai can't rest assured that his good friends will continue to stay in the city, and he also needs help. The best candidates, of course, are those who have the least personality and character. He knows that getting along with them is also more comfortable. 
At the beginning of the journey, as it was on the edge of the urban area with few people, Tian Hai walked very easily. Not to mention any rioters along the way, he didn't even see a few people. Occasionally, when he saw a few, he hid far away as if Tian Hai was a thug. But when Tian Hai's motorcycle entered the city, it was different. There were chaotic crowds everywhere, and now the crowd still on the street is almost all those red-eyed young people fighting and killing one by one. They are addicted to seeing Tian Hai, a single person riding a motorcycle, how could they easily let go? Unfortunately, although they have upgraded from civilians to thugs, but this upgrade only refers to their mentality, physical fitness, and various abilities, but there is not much improvement compared to the constantly wandering sea of life and death. At most, these thugs make Tian Hai feel a bit troublesome. If there are too many thugs in the group, they will take a detour. If there are few people, then there is nothing to say about rushing straight over. Anyway, these thugs are busy robbing shops now and have no intention of chasing Tian Hai. As long as Tian Hai breaks out of their encirclement, they will give up chasing. Along the way, apart from groups of thugs, Tian Hai saw the most dead people. Although the small town used to be less peaceful, fights and fights were common, but it was rare to see dead people. However, this time, Tian Hai had just entered the city and saw no less than a hundred corpses in less than an hour. Seeing these corpses, Tian Hai was completely disappointed. Before, he hoped that those who survived in the small town after the initial chaos would wake up and cooperate well to live and exhibit together in this unknown world. But now he has no such thoughts at all. Unless there is a truly powerful person or organization that can crush everyone, otherwise these people will definitely not be able to coexist peacefully. Especially when they face shortages of food and water, the conflict may escalate to the point of killing someone with just a piece of bread or a glass of water. Chapter 5 Terrifying Creatures You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tian Hai drove his motorcycle and quickly arrived at one of his iron brothers, Song Jun's house downstairs. Tian Hai had many friends in the small town, but only Song Jun, Xiao Zhuang, and Zhang Junlei were truly iron brothers. He came out on this adventure to find these three boys and take them and their families to the cave. After arriving at the downstairs of Song Jun's house, Tian Hai directly threw the motorcycle downstairs without even stopping the fire, and directly threw it there, charging straight toward Song Jun's house. Song Jun lived with his parents on the fifth floor of Tian Hai. In order to reach the fifth floor faster, he activated the power of Xiong and in the next few steps of the power bonus, he rushed from the first floor to the front of Song Jun's house on the fifth floor in less than ten seconds. Putting away the superpower Tian Hai, he slammed the door hard and said, Song Jun, I'm Tian Hai. Open the door quickly. Tian Hai. Song Jun is not at home, he has gone out. Only those who heard Tian Hai's shout dared to open the door and come out were Song Jun's parents. Did he go out? How long has he been out? Tian Hai's heart shook violently. To be honest, what he was most afraid of was this situation. It's so chaotic outside now. I don't know where Song Jun went. Even if you know, it's not easy to find. It's been over an hour now. How is the situation on the street? Song Jun's parents looked at Tian Hai with a hopeful expression, hoping to hear some good news from Tian Hai. They were not very familiar with the situation on the street because they had never gone out. I can't say for a while that I can't wait here for the Song army. I'll take care of you too, old men. Hurry up and tidy up and come with me. Although Tian Hai was disappointed not to find Song army, he wasn't very worried. Song army is also a young and strong young man with a high chance of survival on the street. The two elderly people must be taken away. If there are thugs breaking into this place, with their physical condition, they have no strength to fight back. On the way here just now, he saw a group of thugs rushing into the residential area, smashing doors door by door. Even if they couldn't open them, everything they smashed open would be in bad luck. 
Tian Hai and his four brothers get along very well and often walk around. Their parents are also very familiar with each other. After hearing Tian Hai's words, Song's father and mother hardly hesitated and immediately followed him out. Although they didn't leave home, they saw a lot from the window and knew what the chaos was on the street now. I also know what kind of fate it will lead to if the thugs come knocking on me. Leave a note for Song Jun to tell him that you two old men will be picked up by me. Tian Hai reminded Song's father and mother, then turned around and ran downstairs. The protection of the motorcycle is too poor. If it were just Tian Hai himself, he wouldn't care much about that protection. But now, with the addition of Song's father and mother, he can't use the motorcycle anymore. He wants to take advantage of Song's father and mother leaving a note for Song Jun to go to the street and find a car. Nowadays, there are only a few things on the street, but there are many cars everywhere. The vast majority of vehicles have been smashed and unusable by the rioters, but there are also some cars that remain generally intact. It took Tian Hai less than five minutes to find a roughly intact sedan on the street. Although there was no car key, it was not difficult for Tian Hai. When he was on a mission abroad, stealing a car was a common practice, and he quickly started the car. As soon as I drove back to the downstairs of Song Jun's house, my father and mother walked out from the shadows of the building with several big bags. They looked at the two big bags in their hands, Tian Hai, with a silent and bitter smile, and quickly jumped out of the car to come to my father and mother. We don't need anything anymore. As long as people are fine, everything else is not important. We still need to go to Zhuang Zhuang and Lao Zhang's house. A car can't fit so many things, Tian Hai said as he picked up those large bags and threw them on the ground. Fortunately, Song's father and mother were not hopelessly stingy. Although they felt a bit heartbroken, they still knew that carrying so many things in such a situation was not very comfortable and obedient. They threw all those big bags on the ground, but the two small bags they carried on their bodies could be said not to be thrown away. Two small carry-on bags don't take up much space, so Tian Hai didn't insist and asked the two elders to quickly start the car and drive towards Zhuang Zhuang's house. The situation I saw along the way scared the two elders. They had lived for over fifty years and had never seen such a chaotic scene before. Even on TV, they had never seen such a chaotic scene before. Almost everywhere were thugs fighting, smashing, and looting, and their lives became worthless at this time. Zhuang Zhuang's family went late. Xiao Zhuang and his parents have all left, and they don't know where they went to hide. Or did you join the ranks of those thugs on the street? In short, there is no one in the family. The current situation does not allow Tian Hai to wait here, so he had to leave a note for Zhuang Zhuang and drive towards Zhang Junlai's house. Zhang Junlei is relatively honest and also a bit timid. Although he initially went to the street to check the situation, he quickly ran back home and never dared to go out again. Hai Song happened to block him. Zhang Junlai's parents are not in this city, and he, like Tian Hai, lives on his own. After picking him up, Tian Hai gave up his driver's seat. Old Zhang, who has no other skills in driving, has been a skilled driver since graduating from junior high school and entering society. Although he is not young, he can definitely be considered an experienced driver. Old Zhang is heading towards the gas station near my old house. No matter what you encounter, don't stop and hit it directly. Do you understand? Tian Hai sat in the passenger seat, reached out from his body, took out a machete, and placed it in front of him. He kept an eye on the rioters on the street, hoping to find Song Jun and Xiao Zhuang. Okay. Lao Zhang was already so scared that his feet were a bit weak. He wouldn't even dare to fight, let alone kill or set fire. He could be considered an absolute honest child. If it weren't for the Tian Hai sitting next to him, he might not even have the courage to drive on the street at such times. Whether it's the control of the car or the familiarity with the road, Tian Hai can't compare to Lao Zhang. Under his control, those thugs often just see the shadow of the car and before they react, the car turns and disappears. 
After shuttling through the small alleyway for a while, the car finally returned to the main street. In front of it, it had already reached the commercial district. This area has just been planned by the municipal government this year, which is very neat and there is nothing to use. If you want to go through the small alleyway, you can only take the main street. Wait. Lao Zhang reversed slowly and turned back. Just as he was driving through a street corner, Tian Hai suddenly saw a strange figure. The car was just too fast and didn't wait for Tian Hai to see it clearly before driving over. Is it the two of them? Old Zhang thought that there was Song Jun or Xiao Zhuang in Tian Hai. Excitedly shouting, being able to be with his familiar friends at this time was a great relief for him. No. As the car slowly retreated, Tian Hai saw the fleeting figure just now and his heart was shaken. That figure was too big, almost three meters high, with a completely black body tightly lying on the ground. Five huge tentacles were dancing in the air, each with a human corpse on it. It was constantly feeding those corpses into its mouth. Monster. Song's father, mother, and old Zhang almost exclaimed in surprise at the same time. They didn't see this figure just now. They just heard Tianhai's words and thought they had seen an acquaintance. But how could they expect to see such a huge monster? Monsters. This should be the protozoa of this world. Judging from its body shape and behavior, it should be a carnivorous animal with low intelligence but a very strong body. The car where Tianhai and his companions were located was nearly a hundred meters away from the monster, but Tianhai could still vaguely feel the monster's strength. Just as he wanted to continue observing for a while, the car suddenly began to accelerate wildly. Tianhai turned around and was about to say something, but when he saw the pale faces and stiff gaze of Lao Zhang and Song's father and mother, Tian Hai could only silently sigh and swallow what he wanted to say. They are all just ordinary people, and it's hard to say if they've ever seen a dead person in their lifetime. It's no wonder they couldn't bear to see such a scene so suddenly. It would be great if they could hold back and not vomit. The thoughts in Tian Hai's heart have not yet landed. Song's mother couldn't help but bow her head and vomit. Don't be nervous, this vomit also caused waves of nausea for Song's father and Lao Zhang, who were already very nervous. Helpless, Tian Hai had no choice but to pat Lao Zhang's shoulder and signal him to pull over and let the three of them get off the car. After vomiting everything inside his stomach for a while, he finally got off the road again. Perhaps due to the monster just now, the number of thugs on the road suddenly decreased by several times compared to when Tian Hai came just now. Only a few hurried figures could be seen occasionally, and the group of thugs just now could no longer be seen. As the number of corpses increased, one or even several corpses could be seen every few meters or even tens of meters, all of which were tragically killed by those thugs. If all the thugs on this street were scared away by that monster, then this monster has done a good deed. Even if it eats, it can still eat a few people, but the number of people killed by the thugs is much smaller. I hope that monster just now belongs to the top of the food chain in this world. Tian Hai can feel that with his current physical fitness, it's really hard to say who will die and who will live against that monster. After all, he knows too little about that monster. If there is a guy in this world who is even more powerful than that monster. Tian Hai shook his head and threw the idea out of his mind. He could no longer think about it. If he continued to think about it, his confidence would be undermined. To put it bluntly, although there are four people in the car now, the only one who truly wakes up is himself. The other three only have the responsibility of being taken care of. If something unexpected happens, they can't help at all and all rely on Tian Hai to rescue them. After getting on the road again, Lao Zhang's heart was completely focused on the things on the side of the road. He didn't even look at the things on the side of the road and stared straight in front of the car without blinking. He only knew how to drive the car very fast and wanted to leave the city quickly to avoid being caught up by the monster just now. The thought of stopping the car not too far away from that monster made him feel scared. If it were in a car that used to be so fast, 
even if other people didn't speak and sat in the back seat, Song's parents would still speak and ask Lao Zhang to slow down. But now they have no sense of whether the car is fast or slow, and all they have in their minds is the scene of the monster eating people just now. They saw many people killed by the thugs along the way, but although they were all dead like being eaten by a monster, the feeling they felt was completely different. Although they only saw the monster eat one person with their own eyes, the feeling they felt was even more frightening than the hundreds of corpses they saw along the way. In the midst of Lao Zhang's desperate adventure, Tian Hai and his companions quickly left the city and returned to the cave. Just a few hundred meters away from the cave, Tian Hai asked Lao Zhang to stop his car and hike until the car could no longer move forward. Driving further is all dirt road. Tian Hai used this road to transport goods, which made the road bumpy. Although most of the pits were filled by Tian Hai, it is not solid. Driving forward is very likely to get stuck inside. After sending Lao Zhang and Song's father and mother to the cave, Tian Hai plans to go back to the city to have a look. Firstly, search for the whereabouts of Song Jun and Xiao Zhuang's family. Secondly, he is a bit uneasy about the monster he just saw and wants to find out how many monsters have entered the small town. How strong is it? If the number of monsters is not many and their strength is not enough for them to resist, then there is no problem for them to settle down here. Conversely, if they don't, they should think of a way out early and wait for the monsters to come knocking on them before finding a way out, which will be too late. After sending all three people to the cave and re-blocking the entrance, Tian Hai returned to the car and drove back into the city. Tian Hai wants to go back to his own house first to see Xiao Zhuang and Song Jun. If he sees the note, he will gather at his own house. Perhaps they will be at his own house now. When Tian Hai was driving a few blocks away from home, a huge black shadow flashed over his head. Tian Hai slammed the brake and stopped the car, jumping out of the car and looking up into the air. A huge bird entered his sight, and after seeing the size of the bird clearly, Tian Hai had the idea of cursing at that time, which was a bit too big. The bird that flew over from the top of the sea just now has a body at least 50 meters long, and its wings are even bigger. It seems that Xiangzi is not much less than 200 meters. There are three claws on the abdomen, each holding a human corpse. Two of them are elderly and one is a child. It seems that they were caught nearby because 80% of the young people are from the city center. The main ones left here are the elderly and children. The body and wings of the one that flew over from the top of Tianhede just now, which was at least 50 meters long, were even larger. It seems that there is not much difference even if it is not 200 meters away. There are three claws on the abdomen, each holding a human corpse. Two of them are elderly and one is a child. It seems that they were caught nearby because 80% of the young people are from the city center. The main ones left here are the elderly and children. After seeing the bird clearly, Tianhai's heart also lifted. If Tianhai, the monster with five tentacles just now, wouldn't be too afraid. After all, when facing that monster, even if he couldn't kill the opponent Tian Hai, he had confidence that he could escape his life. However, if facing this flying guy, Tian Hai's confidence in escaping his life would inevitably decrease by several percent. His nine bear power ability mainly enhances his strength and defense with almost no bonus in terms of degree. However, from the situation where he flew away with three claws just now, it appears that his degree is very fast. If faced with it, there are only two options. Either to reject it or to be killed by it. If you want to run, you will definitely not be able to run away. Chapter 6 New Abilities, 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio As soon as I thought about the superpower Tian Hai, I suddenly remembered the new crystal block formed in my body due to absorbing that violent energy. It used to be because the crystal block didn't stabilize and was busy, so I didn't pay attention to it. Now, it should have almost stabilized, right? While driving the car, Tian Hai explored the new crystal block towards the Dantian and hid it in the lower Dantian, 
not to mention that it has stabilized now. Will this brand new crystal block bring you a new ability? Tian Hai hesitated for a while before exploring his spiritual power and entering the new crystal block. A huge energy rushed out of the crystal block under the attraction of Tian Hai's spiritual power. As soon as it left the crystal block, this energy broke free from the control of Tian Hai's spiritual power and directly rushed into Tian Hai's hand. Through his hand, it entered the car that Tian Hai was driving. As soon as this energy entered the car's Tian Hai, I felt my body empty and suddenly lost balance, rolling and flying out. During the flight, Tian Hai still had the energy to look at the place just now and was surprised to see that the car he was driving had mysteriously disappeared. After rolling on the ground for a few times, Tian Hai stood up again and couldn't even manage the dust on his body. He ran straight to where he had just driven, looking up, down, left and right, but couldn't find the car he had just driven. Just as Tian Hai was lost in thought about the miraculous missing car, he suddenly saw something under his feet, lifting his foot and taking a glance at a small card being stepped on by him. Tian Hai is getting annoyed because of the mysterious disappearance of the car. How could he have the energy to manage a card and kick it away? Just now, the person in front of me who kicked Kafei out of Tian Hai ran a few steps quickly and picked up the card that had not yet fallen to the ground. Take a look in front of you and see that you didn't make a mistake just now. This card really has a pattern of a car and looks very similar to the car I just drove. It should be said that they are exactly the same. Seeing this Tian Hai made me understand that when the car disappeared, it happened to be when the energy of the new crystal block in my body entered the car through my hands. Is all of this related to the new energy brought by the new crystal block? Tian Hai tried to activate the energy in the new crystal block again and injected it into the card. A car that had not yet stopped appeared in front of Haisong. When this sedan appeared, it not only did not extinguish the fire but also had a high running state. As soon as Tian Hai released it, it quickly rushed forward and collided with a nearby wall to extinguish the fire. Is this your new ability? Tian Hai glanced around and saw a broken chair with one foot missing that was thrown out by someone on the roadside. Before walking to the chair, Tian Hai reached out and pressed it onto it again, moving his new ability. The broken chair immediately disappeared, replaced by a card with a broken chair pattern. Now Tian Hai can be 100% certain that the new crystal block in Dan Tian has truly brought him a new ability. A new ability that allows him to transform objects between card bodies and entities. I wonder if this new ability can transform life forms. Tian Hai looked around a few times but couldn't find any life forms. Go to a farther place to find them. No. Now is not the time to experiment with this. Tian Hai suddenly remembers his destination. There's no time to experiment with new abilities, just activate the bear power ability and run forward. After running several hundred meters, Tian Hai returned to his home and opened the door. He was disappointed to see that neither Song Jun nor Xiao Zhuang had come to his home. Everything in his home was the same as before he left. It seems that they haven't seen the piece of paper they left for them yet, so let it be. I hope these two boys won't suffer so much that they lose their lives in this chaos. After entering the room, Tian Hai buttoned the floor a few times and lifted a piece of floor to take out a brand new pistol. This pistol is not a standard pistol, but a handgun specially designed by the Dark Dragon Organization. Previously, he only carried this pistol when on missions and usually kept it at home. A few days ago, when I left, I was anxious and didn't expect things to escalate to the current level, so I didn't bring this pistol with me, only a machete. I happened to bring it with me when I came back this time. In addition to the pistol, there is also a whole box of over 300 bullets in the dark compartment. These bullets need to be saved and used up, so there is no place to replenish them. In the small town, you may still find some ordinary pistol bullets, but these specialized bullets are absolutely impossible to find. The pistol and two magazine clips were casually placed on Hai Song's body, making it a bit difficult for him to carry the remaining 300 bullets. It's a bit inconvenient to have such a large box, after all, 
I'm planning to try out the strength of those monsters later. It's not safe to leave it here. In case any monster can't bear to demolish this building and find such a small box from the ruins, it's not an easy task. Tianhai suddenly remembered the new ability he had just acquired. After all, he had just obtained it and was not used to constantly forgetting it for a while. Chapter 7 New Abilities, 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Extending a hand to press on the small box containing bullets, Shanghai loosened its new ability and quickly the box of bullets turned into a small card. After turning the bullet into a card, Tianhai didn't rush to put it away. Instead, he extended his hand again and restored the card to a bullet box. Several times in a row, Tianhai has evolved and transformed the bullet box between physical and card-like. Throughout this process, he has been paying attention to the situation of the new crystal block inside his body. He wants to see how much energy is contained in this new crystal block. What are the limitations of this new ability? Tianhai can't imagine that this new ability has no restrictions at all, regardless of what it is, including the ability. If you gain something from it, you have to release it, but what you pay is not necessarily what. The new ability is definitely the same, but I haven't found the cost of using it yet. After converting the bullet box dozens of times in a row, Tianhai stopped converting it. He now knows the cost of using this new ability. To use a new ability first, it is necessary to have enough energy in the crystal block. Just now, several dozen consecutive conversions have made him feel that the energy in the crystal block has decreased by about two dot thirds, and the conversion rate has slowed down a lot. He no longer needs to wait for the conversion to be completed immediately after the ability, as he did at the beginning. Fortunately, the energy in the crystal block can be automatically restored, but when it is restored, the crystal block will automatically absorb the energy in the heavenly sea body. This is similar to the cost of using the Nine Bear Power ability, which also requires physical strength and physical fitness to support. However, when using the Nine Bear Power, it directly consumes physical energy and increases the burden on the body. And this new ability is constantly absorbing its own physical energy, but the absorption is not significant, so that all the absorbed physical energy can be converted into its unique energy and stored in the crystal block, which can be directly called when needed. In general, the costs of both abilities have their own strengths and weaknesses. The benefits of the Nine Bear Power ability are that it does not increase one's burden in daily life and only pays the cost when used. The new ability, on the other hand, adds a burden to one's body during normal times and does not incur any extra energy consumption when used. At most, all the energy inside the crystal block is depleted, making it impossible to use the new ability for a short period of time. It's okay. It's okay. The cost of this new ability is not significant. The reason why Tian Hai is so nervous about this issue is because when he was on Earth, there were several other individuals in his organization besides him, and one of them possessed a very powerful ability that almost reached an incredible level. Time can be stopped to completely stop within a certain range. Although he possesses a powerful ability, he is also very distressed because the cost of using this ability is equally enormous. It turns out that for every second this time ability is activated, his vitality will be lost, which is equivalent to months of life. In other words, using one second of this ability will result in a loss of one month's lifespan. Tianhai feels that his ability to convert objects back and forth between entities and cards is also somewhat supernatural, so he is worried that the cost it requires will be beyond his affordability. Fortunately, it only requires physical strength, which can be restored at any time, and will not cause any permanent damage to Tianhai's body. To some extent, it also plays a beneficial role in improving his physical fitness. After understanding the experiment, Tianhai walked out of his house and casually found a sedan downstairs, driving towards the monster he saw last time with five tentacles. The current urban area is much cleaner than last time, and the crowds that could have been seen everywhere have all disappeared. Occasionally, I see some people rushing around one by one, as if they are being chased by monsters. 
As soon as Tian Hai entered the commercial district, he saw a huge monster slowly approaching from the other end of the commercial street. This monster is about 10 meters tall, and its thick armor covers its entire body, making it look like a magnified pangolin with just four more claws. This monster is covered in blood everywhere, but it can be seen that this blood is not from it, but from the prey it killed. It is clear from its mouth that half of the human body can be seen before it has finished eating, what exactly is the prey it slaughtered in large quantities. In front of this monster, you can still see dozens of figures running and playing with their lives. Although the monster's movements may seem slow, its huge size can withstand humans for several tens of steps with just one step. So those humans who ran recklessly in front of them had no way to escape its venomous hands. Almost every few steps, one person would be bitten by the monster's venom. The monster was not in a hurry at all, just slowly following behind the group of people. After finishing the body in its mouth, it poked its head out and casually bit another one into its mouth. It looked like it was eating happily, but probably it had never seen such an easy and numerous prey in its life. This monster's body is too huge. Tian Hai didn't want to provoke it, but just as Tian Hai restarted the car and wanted to leave before the group of people ran to him, he suddenly saw a familiar figure appearing in the running crowd. Seeing this figure, Tian Hai knows that no matter what, it's not enough. With a bitter smile, he drove the car to the side, turned off the engine, removed the key from the car, and got out of the car. Tian Hai estimated his distance from the monster and took out a pistol to aim at its mouth. Although the bullet in his gun was specially made, Tian Hai was not sure if it could break the armor on that monster's body. However, every monster has its own weaknesses, which Tian Hai firmly believes. The armor on this monster may be very hard, but its mouth may not be as hard. Bang! 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 Aiming at Tian Hai, he fired three shots in a row. All three shots hit, but the effect was not satisfactory to Tian Hai at all. These three shots all hit the monster's tongue, but apart from three small blood flowers, they didn't work at all. The monster just didn't feel like it didn't even hide, as if these three shots didn't hit it. What should we do? What are we doing? There was no reaction at all. Tian Hai was taken aback and knew very well the power of the gun in his hand. Although it was just a handgun, its power was several times greater than the vast majority of rifles. The penetration power can almost be compared to a sniper rifle. Such a powerful force hitting the softest tongue of that monster can only cause a few small wounds, and even penetrate its tongue. How could this monster's strong defense not surprise Tian Hai? Just because the gun is ineffective doesn't mean that Tian Hai has no way out. If he uses the power of the three bears, Tian Hai believes he still has the power to fight against this monster, but now is not the time to fight it hard. His main purpose this time was to test the strength of these monsters, and he has now roughly tested them. Of course, he will not do anything that doesn't please him anymore. Xiao Zhuang sighed. Tian Hai took a few steps back and arrived at the entrance of a small alley, shouting to Xiao Zhuang, who was running and playing in front of the monster not far away. He gave up the opportunity to leave just now and took action directly because he saw Xiao Zhuang. This is a good friend and loyal brother he went home to look for but couldn't find. Xiao Zhuang shouted several times without any reaction, as if he had not heard Tian Hai's shout at all, and ran forward with all his might. Seeing this situation, Tian Hai understood and Xiao Zhuang was 100% scared by the monster behind him. It is estimated that his brain is now blank and he knows nothing except for running quickly. Chapter 8 Monster Arrival You are listening at NovelFull.audio Seeing Xiao Zhuang's situation, Tian Hai gave a bitter smile and had to come out of his hiding place to run towards the rushing crowd. While running towards Tian Hai, they adjusted their direction. Fortunately, although these people have all lost their rationality, they still know the most basic way to dodge. When they see Tian Hai running towards them, they all instinctively dodge towards both sides to make way for Tian Hai. 
let him easily run to Xiao Zhuang's side. After merging with Xiao Zhuang, Tian Hai turned around and ran with the crowd. Now he and Xiao Zhuang are running in the middle of the crowd. There are still dozens of people behind them, and the monster's way of eating one by one will not catch up with them for a while. Wake up! Strong! Wake up! Tian Hai ran and vigorously slapped Xiao Zhuang's face, trying to wake him up from his lost soul state. Tian Hai's slap came into effect, and Xiao Zhuang understood. He turned his head to look at Tian Hai, but his gaze remained straight for a while before fully recovering. Monster 1 Monster 1 Monster 1 After Xiao Zhuang understood, his first reaction was not that Tian Hai was here. But instead, after looking back, he stuttered in the direction of the sea. Number 34, don't think of following me with anything. Tian Hai saw Xiao Zhuang come over and pulled him hard, starting to run towards the side of the crowd. After running to the side, he jumped out of the crowd and entered a small alley. In the form of that monster, unless it demolishes all the buildings on both sides of this small alley, it will not be able to enter here. Stopping at a corner, Tian Hai grabbed Xiao Zhuang who wanted to continue running and slapped him in the face. The monster that's fine at the designated location can't keep up. No. Tian Hai. Hurry up. There are all kinds of cannibalistic monsters everywhere in the city now. We must run quickly. We must run quickly. Although Xiao Zhuang regained some consciousness due to Tian Hai's slap, he still looked around with a pale face and a nervous expression, as if a monster could run out from somewhere at any time. Tian Hai didn't have any unexpected feeling about the presence of other monsters because he had already seen three types of monsters alone. Who can be blamed for this? If you want to blame it, you can only blame those thugs. A few days ago, when the whole city was unconscious, why didn't even a monster come? But they all concentrated at this moment and ran to the small town. Ultimately, it's still because of those big fires that spread throughout half of the small town. Those thugs, unable to accept reality, vent like crazy. It can be said that as long as they see anything, they will not let it go. They cannot take it away and burn it, which is very satisfying. But so many flames attracted all the monsters around them. At the beginning, those monsters may not dare to do anything because they had not seen humans and were not very clear about human strength. But when they bravely ate the first person, they found that these humans were very easy to hunt and kill. Given this fact, these monsters would not be polite. Of course, they ate a lot like the monster chasing Xiao Zhuang just now, completely ignoring the human counterattack and eating it all. Number 34, Zhuang Zhuang, where are your family members? Tian Hai suddenly remembered that when he went to Xiao Zhuang's house, he didn't even see Xiao Zhuang's parents. He probably came out with Xiao Zhuang, but he didn't see any trace of Xiao Zhuang's parents in the crowd just now. I sent them to Song Jun's house and saw your note. I was afraid they wouldn't be able to bear it, so I let them stay at Song Jun's house. I came out to find you myself. There shouldn't be monsters on Song Jun's side too. Xiao Zhuang said with a worried and disorganized expression on his face. Let's go take a look when the monster outside walks away. I was very happy to hear that Xiao Zhuang's parents didn't even have Tian Hai, and now only Song Jun has no news. I hope he's okay too. Quickly, the crowd and monsters outside all ran away from Tian Hai and walked to the entrance of the alley. After looking on both sides and seeing no problems, they waved to Xiao Zhuang. Number 34, TMD. The car that Tian Hai parked on the roadside just now happened to be stepped on by a passing monster. The monster weighed at least a dozen tons, and when it stepped down, the car turned into a pancake. Tian Hai glanced around and saw that this road used to be a commercial street and also the place where the most concentrated rioters were just now. 80% of the cars on both sides of the road were smashed by the rioters, and a few that were not smashed were also destroyed by monsters. Let's walk. Tian Hai waved helplessly. 
why didn't he think about finding a useful car to turn into a card and keep it as a backup when he was just on the edge of the city? Xiao Zhuang is still in a state of shock and has no idea what Tian Hai is talking about. He just follows Tian Hai and walks towards the street. After being ravaged by that huge monster, the entire street has changed. Now the street feels like it has been crushed by some heavy tank, and the greenery on both sides of the road has disappeared, leaving only piles of fragments. Tian Hai and Xiao Zhuang just walked into another street before Xiao Zhuang could see the situation ahead clearly. Tian Hai suddenly turned his hand and pushed Xiao Zhuang back. Stop. Chapter 9 Monster Dinner You are listening at NovelFull.audio Number 34, What's Going On? Xiao Zhuang leaned out in confusion and glanced at the street. Immediately, his face changed and he quickly turned back. Tian Hai covered Xiao Zhuang's mouth and turned back the exclamation he was about to utter, while whispering, Be quiet and don't disturb them. After seeing Xiao Zhuang nod, Tian Hai withdrew his hand and cautiously poked his head out again to look at the street. Now the entire street has been occupied by a monster with two thick legs and two small claws that look similar to a velociraptor but is about the size of a cow. There are a lot of these monsters, and just like what Tian Hai sees, there are about a few hundred of them scattered all over the street, gathered in piles around one or a few human corpses, eating wildly. W.C. Yesterday, I was still thinking about finding a way to understand the situation of life in this world. Now there's no need to take the risk of observing outside anymore. They all came to the city like a big gathering. When I thought of the word, dinner party, a terrifying thought suddenly flashed through my mind. These monsters don't also have intelligence, do they? How come all I see are scattered monsters targeting humans without any hostility towards each other, as if I have already divided my positions? Shouldn't it be? Even if there is, it should be very low, at most it is the instinct of animals. Tian Hai comforted himself that if these physically powerful monsters had an IQ no less than humans or a slightly lower but not much lower IQ than humans, humans would really have no way to survive in this world. These monsters, resembling velociraptors, may be easier to deal with than those big monsters in terms of size, but their numbers are too large. Tian Hai dare not provoke them, so he has to retreat along the original path and walk back to another street. This time, it was good enough for Tian Hai and his team to find an intact vehicle without encountering any monsters. However, they didn't have much fuel and could only travel a few kilometers at most. Just a few kilometers. It's better than not having a car, maybe you can find another car in a few kilometers. The old rule took a few minutes before Tian Hai started the car. As soon as the car started, Xiao Zhuang quickly crawled into the car. Tian Hai fully understood Xiao Zhuang's timid behavior. He was just an ordinary person. Seeing so many dead people and monsters, his current performance was already worth Tian Hai's happiness. After exercising, he could help himself share some things. After the car started, Tian Hai took Xiao Zhuang and drove toward Song Jun's house. It wasn't too far from Song Jun's house here, and if everything went smoothly, it would only take five or six minutes at most. Unfortunately, because they dare not take the right path and walk through the small alleyway, the road will be far away. They drove for more than ten minutes and even the fuel level reached its bottom before reaching Song Jun's house, but it's not far either. After getting off the car and just walking forward for less than a hundred meters, a huge tentacle suddenly swept away the roof of the bungalow next to Tian Hai not far from their heads. Tian Hai suddenly retreated a few meters to look in the direction of the tentacles sweeping over, and then cursed inwardly. A monster with five tentacles and a body similar to an elephant was staring at this place not far away, looking like it had already spotted Tian Hai and the two of them. This monster is exactly what Tian Hai saw when he was with Song's father and mother. Originally, Tian Hai wanted to find it. Unexpectedly, Tian Hai didn't find it and instead came knocking on it first. Hide it. Don't come out. 
Tianhai shouted and activated the power of the three bears. Now he has a general understanding that the monsters in this world are very strong. If you rely on the power of the bears, you will have no way to deal with the power of the two bears and have little confidence, so he directly used the power of the three bears. After the power of the three bears was activated, not only did his limbs rapidly expand, but also a thick layer of black hair began to appear on Tianhai's body, covering all of his limbs. With this layer of black hair, the defense of Tianhai's limbs has greatly improved. Tianhai once used his hands covered in black hair to block bullets from rifles. That's not an ordinary military rifle, but a modified rifle like Tianhai's handgun. Even so, the power of that bullet is just a small wound in Tianhai's hand and the bullet gets stuck in the flesh. After completing the transformation, Tianhai's feet surged into the sky with great force and rushed towards the monster, avoiding a tentacle that the monster had swept over. In the air, Tianhai pulled the pistol out and aimed it at the monster, pulling the trigger repeatedly. The monster that looked like a pangolin just now had a layer of armor on its body, but bullets didn't have much effect on it. This monster doesn't have that layer of armor on its body, and it looks very soft. Bullets should be able to play a certain role. Unexpectedly, the body of this five-tentacled monster was indeed very soft. When the bullet hit it, there were no white spots left, only a small pit was created and the bullet flew out. Number 34, let me wipe it number 34, Tian Hai cursed loudly and took back the gun. He took out the machete that had never left his body and aimed it at a tentacle that the monster was sweeping towards him. Although the monster was not injured by bullets, it seemed to have been hurt and abandoned other targets. All five tentacles were aimed at Tian Hai and swept over to see if the move was not intended to eat Tian Hai anymore, but to directly kill Tian Hai. Just because bullets can't harm that monster well doesn't mean that Tian Hai's knife can't harm cold weapons. The advantage of cold weapons is that the greater the power, the greater the power. After using his powers, Tianhai's greatest need was strength. With the blessing of his power, this machete cut off one of the monster's tentacles with just one strike. At the same time, Tianhai was also hit by its other four tentacles and flew out for several tens of meters, hitting through two walls before stopping. This didn't hurt Tianhai, but it also made him very uncomfortable. It took him more than 10 seconds to stand up from the ground and walk back, and now the monster has disappeared. What about that monster? Tian Hai withdrew his ability and covered his chest with one hand, returning to Xiao Zhuang's side and asking. Run away. Just now, one by one. Xiao Zhuang looked at Tian Hai with a restless mind, as if he didn't even know him. No wonder he was like this. Although he had a good relationship with Tian Hai, Hai Song never mentioned anything about his other identity and abilities to them. Now that he suddenly saw Tian Hai transform into a monster, if it weren't for his good relationship with Tian Hai, I believe Tian Hai wouldn't harm him. Maybe he would have run away in fear. Did you run away? Tian Hai couldn't believe it and asked back, that monster was just cut off by him with one tentacle, and it didn't hurt anything. Such a small injury can make the monster retreat. As soon as you were knocked away, it ran away. Xiao Zhuang pointed in the direction of the monster's escape, but his eyes were fixed on Tian Hai. Obviously, he didn't care much about the monster's situation. What he really wants to know now is what happened to Tian Hai just now. I'll talk about my situation later. Now is not the time. Seeing Xiao Zhuang's appearance, Tian Hai gave a bitter smile and pulled Xiao Zhuang to continue walking towards Song Jun's house. This time, he dare not be careless anymore. In addition, Xiao Zhuang has already seen his transformed appearance and decided to use the power of the bear while walking. The burden on his body is not very heavy, and with Tian Hai's current physical fitness, there is no problem supporting him for a few hours. Tian Hai has always maintained a state of bear power which is really right because they were attacked again by a monster as soon as they reached the downstairs of Song Jun's house. This attack was a monster that neither Tian Hai nor Xiao Zhuang had seen before. Chapter 10 
Unexpected Gains You are listening at NovelFull.audio Song Jun's downstairs Tian Hai and Xiao Zhuang arrived here, looking at the undamaged building. Just as they were about to breathe a sigh of relief, they suddenly heard a strange sound coming from under their feet. Number 34, what sound Xiao Zhuang turned his head strangely to listen to the sound. Xu Tianhai lay on the ground and pressed his ears tightly to the ground. The more he listened, the more serious his face became. His eyebrows also furrowed tightly without realizing it. A faint sound kept coming out from the ground. The sound was not big but very long. The sound heard by the sea pine when standing up was almost no different in size from the sound heard when lying on the ground. This indicates that the penetration of this sound is very strong, and the soil is almost unable to prevent its propagation, which is why this situation occurs. This situation is unreasonable on earth, but in this world, the heavenly sea cannot be said to be reasonable. Whether it is reasonable or unreasonable, it exists. Zhuang Zhuang, go upstairs immediately and pick up your parents. Next, I'll go find a car. We need to get out of here quickly, Tian Hai ran quickly to the outside street while loudly saying to Xiao Zhuang. The source of this sound, Tian Hai, cannot be certain. But hearing this sound in this situation would definitely not be a good thing, so Tian Hai chose to leave quickly, preferably before any problems arise. All the vehicles passing by on the road where Tian Hai and his team came just now have been checked and found to be unusable, so they did not go to that street again and instead took a detour to another street. Before entering the street, Tian Hai carefully observed for a while and confirmed that there were no monsters on the street before rushing out quickly. The street where Tian Hai is currently located is a small street with a total length of only a few hundred meters. The shops on the street are mostly small businesses run by individuals. It is precisely because of this that during the period when the rioters were rampant, the number of rioters on this street was the least, because there was not much oil and water here, and even if they were to grab, they could not get much. Instead, the streets were preserved intact and not completely destroyed by the thugs like those main streets. On this street, Tian Hai just took a glance and saw several vehicles with intact appearances, all of which were normal vehicles a few days ago. So as long as the exterior is not significantly damaged, it can start and drive normally at 80%. This time, Tian Hai can learn from the lessons of previous times. Seeing so many intact vehicles, he didn't just find one and left. But first, I checked all the cars and found ones that could start normally. Then, I used card abilities to turn all the intact vehicles into cards and store them. Because time was tight, Tian Hai didn't dare to waste any more time here. He just searched for cars on the road and found five vehicles that could run normally, then stopped searching. Four of these five cars have been turned into cards by Tian Hai. Drive the last one straight towards the direction of Song Juanjia building. Just as he arrived a few dozen meters away from Song Jun's house, Xiao Zhuang ran over with his parents from the front. Zhao's father and mother clearly learned from Xiao Zhuang that there are monsters everywhere in the city now, and their face is very pale. At the same time, they have no extra things in their hands, and everything is mainly aimed at leaving quickly. Tian Hai put on the brake and stopped the car. After opening the car door, he shouted to Xiao Zhuang, who was running towards him, hurry up and get in the car. Turn around. Turn around. There's a monster chasing me we. Xiao Zhuang ran to the front of the car first, but he didn't rush to get on. Instead, he stabilized the car door and allowed Zhao's father and mother to enter the car first, and then crawled into the passenger seat. No need for Xiao Zhuang to shout Tian Hai, but through the rearview mirror, I saw the monster rushing towards here. That is a monster that looks very similar to a velociraptor. Xiao Zhuang and Tian Hai once saw hundreds of people gathering together on a street. But it seems like there's only one end here. Only one head. Tian Hai took a long breath and to be honest, he saw too many monsters today, and the strength of these monsters was getting stronger and stronger, which really made Tian Hai feel a bit scared. 
However, this monster, Tian Hai, which is similar to Velociraptor but slightly larger than Velociraptor, is not very afraid. Judging from the known situation that the individual strength of this monster is not strong depends on its quantity. The threat to oneself should not be comparable to that monster with five tentacles. After Xiao Zhuang and the others all got on the car, Tian Hai originally wanted to start the car directly and leave here, but when the car started and the accelerator had not yet been pressed, Tian Hai changed his mind and walked off the car. I have always wanted to find an opportunity to try out if the newly obtained card ability can also turn life forms into cards. But I haven't found a suitable target yet, and now I happen to have this opportunity. The monster in front of me is the most suitable target. Besides the large number of humans, the most common ones in the small town are probably these monsters, using humans as experimental subjects. Although Tian Hai doesn't care much about people who are not his own relatives and friends, he can't treat them as experimental objects. After all, no one can say what kind of situations will occur during the experiment. 